Congressman Keith Roth is back with us here at Legacy Studios and in East Liverpool, Ohio is where we are. And one of the reasons I come here, obviously, is because I get a chance to work with my good friend Jimmy Joe Savage. But I love East Liverpool and I love making the trip, whether it be Route 18 or on the uh, industry side of things, meaning industry Pennsylvania. And as I look across the Ohio River, I see some things that are very important to me. And one happens to be the Shell Petrochemical Plant. I blink more buildings, more structures, more great union labor. It's just an amazing story unfolding. But something that I have been looking at since I started in this part of the world covering sports and many other things in radio over three decades ago, shipping port, that power plant, and first energy. And I have never complained when stuck in traffic during a shift change because I always knew whether it was first energy or Bruce Mansfield, the coal-fired power plant, people were working and right now they are under siege that great name that is first energy that has employed so many people and helped this region in a big way and i wanted to give the congressman to talk about this a chance why because of the energy grid and not too far from where we are right now another one of their plants stratton is also going through the same well bad luck if you will and hopefully we can get the president back on point and start focusing on what really matters and sign an executive order to help first energy out because congressman we both agree it's worth giving them a helping hand anytime we can in this region you know, you know rob this falls into the category of it all works together uh taking a look at our power plants taking a look at our grid taking a look at the importance of the jobs we have at those plants the tax base that they provide uh it, we, we have had a tremendous success story out there with natural gas. It's very competitive. It's, uh, a lot of new gas-fired plants are opening up. But we learned something earlier this year that the National Energy Technology Laboratory uh, undertook study of what happened during the very harsh cold snap we had after Christmas last year. And they found that if it weren't for the so-called base load providers of electricity, that would be your coal plants and your nuclear plants, we were susceptible to a system-wide failure in our grid. We do not want that to happen in the middle of a cold snap. The renewables weren't working during the cold snap and, and gas was being diverted. So we have to make sure as we go into the future, this energy future, that we're going to have a proper mix on the grid. So we have been asking the administration to make sure that, that the grid operators are having adequate energy supplied uh, uh, to the grid. They have to take an analysis. I think that coal is a part. I think nuclear is a part. And so we are. We have been pressing the administration on this issue. They have been taking action. The Department of Energy has been looking at this, and we hope that we're going to have a resolution in the very near future, and that will have an impact locally. So, again, this is an issue that I, it, it, it's very important for us. It's very important to our grid. It's important to the jobs we have here in western Pennsylvania. We're going to continue to press for this. And these jobs are everything to our region. Without them, we have no region. Well said, Congressman. Have a great day, sir. Hey, thanks, Rob. Good afternoon from East Liverpool, Ohio.